When you feel a guy pull away, this usually happens for one of two reasons. One, he's just having some time and space for himself. There's nothing to worry about. Or two, he's actually kind of reconsidering what's happening with both of you and the direction that you're going in. Now, whatever one of these two reasons it is, we're going to go through what you can do that's going to put you in the best light and the best way that's going to move in the right direction for you. But before we get into that, my Claim Your Mind program is now open. In this program, I show you step by step right from the first day how to get commitment from that guy you're really into. So if there's a guy you're seeing right now and you want to know how to make sure he's going to ask you to be his girlfriend, you're going to want to enroll in this program immediately. So click the link below and I'll see you there. So the first thing you should definitely, definitely do is communicate to him that you've noticed a change. Sometimes when we're really into someone and we feel a shift, we want to avoid confronting anything that may be sneaking in. And this plays more on our fears when we start to feel them pull away from us a little bit because obviously we don't want to do anything that's going to further push them away but communicating that you notice something different in him that separates the high value women from the girls this shows a level of emotional maturity and shows that you're not the kind of person to just brush a problem under the rug or that you just run away from a problem now how you do this with him is going to make all the difference so you could say something like hey i've just noticed that i've not really heard from much of you recently and we've not made any immediate plans to spend some time together i just wanted to check in to make sure you're okay this very clearly comes from a place of passion and wanting to understand which doesn't make you look desperate it makes you look high value as opposed to a girl just saying, hey, give me attention because I'm feeling needy and I'm feeling deprived. <laughs> Doing it the formal way just garners respect from him to you regardless of what the reason is. And because of that, he's more likely to share with you what is going on if there's anything going on. The next thing you can definitely, definitely do is to actually give him space. I say this all the time. The relationship you have with your kitty cat is the same relationship a guy has with his time, right? Just because a guy is seeing you and you're really into him, that doesn't mean he gets to have sex with you whenever he wants, right? It's something that has to be willingly given. And this is exactly the same thing with a guy and his time. Yes, he may like you. Yes, he may be dating you and he may be investing in you. But just because he does like you, that doesn't mean that you are entitled to his time. It means it has to be willingly given to you. And I completely get that maybe for you, if you really like someone and you like the way things are going, you want to spend more time with them, not less. And while this is genuinely the case for most people, and it generally is the case for guys, there does come a point where sometimes a guy just goes, I just need a little bit of my own time. And it's not a reflection on you, it's just where he's at. And so it's really important that you are able to give him the time and space when he needs it. And besides, you don't have to talk every day, you have a life too. Now this doesn't mean that you can't ever text him, like if you're out and about and you see something that is a reference to a joke you guys had before, just say, hey, I saw this, made me think of you, had a laugh. And if he doesn't respond as promptly or as quickly as you're used to, don't worry, he is not gone off you because the danger of what you don't want to happen is you don't want to be coming across like you are trying to demand for more of his time if you're always trying to text him always trying to call him always trying to make sure you do something that's going to make him respond to you he can actually start to pull away from you why because he doesn't want to feel like it's a chore to give you a level of his time and attention if he's not feeling it that day you don't want him to think of you and think oh i need to manage my attention otherwise she's going to give me a hard time you don't want to be that person no guy wants to be that person no girl should want to be that person but i really want you to trust me that when i tell you if you allow him his space he is going to come back stronger and harder for you no pun intended he will want closest with you he will want to talk to you on the phone he will want to hear how your day has been when you allow a man his space what you're saying to him is hey i understand that maybe you need to just go and do your thing right now but i am here and that is what guys value and that is what guys look for in a woman now don't get me wrong there is a level right you don't want to be waiting around if you've not heard from him for like a few weeks that's completely different but it's just about becoming part of his peace that's it the next thing you can do if you start to feel a guy pull away is to offer a future plan this is actually a really good test to see whether he is just not interested in the relationship anymore or whether he is only just taking a little bit of space for himself so for example if he's just taking space for himself but you're just like hey do you want to go to this music gig in a few weeks 
he's going to be saying, yeah, sure, that sounds great. Let's get it in the diary. Because for him, he's not planning to change anything about the way things have been going with you two. He's just maybe not communicating with you as much right now. Whereas if he's actually looking to put a little bit of distance between you because maybe he's no longer interested or he's having doubts, then he may not directly decline the offer, but he will be nonchalant about committing to that said plan. So he'll give you a response like, oh, I'm not sure. I think I'm supposed to be busy that day or, you know, I don't really know if I can afford it right now. Oh, hey, let me let you know closer to the time. Now, if you do get that response, which isn't the most ideal one, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's gone off you, but it could mean that he's just not sure what he wants from this relationship and he's just taking some time to figure out what he wants which could still be you this next thing that you can do when you start to feel a guy pull away is to invest more time and energy into things that you enjoy the time and energy you are building up from worrying about this situation channel that into something that you love i'll be honest it's really quite disheartening when i see girls or young women going out to clubs as a way to try and distract themselves from the situation that maybe they're not happy about you you know, using getting drunk at parties or clubs and festivals to get back at the guy who maybe is just taking a bit of space. And this rarely works for a few reasons. One, you don't really enjoy yourself because you're doing it to try and emotionally distance yourself from someone who you don't actually want to emotionally distance yourself from. Two, you're not even open to anything with anyone that you may meet there because you're still in this situation. And three, you're just burning money. It's just a waste of money. So whatever you have a passion in, whatever hobby you you enjoy doing if that's yoga painting debate classes whatever it is or something where you're enjoying seeing the growth in yourself channel all of it to those things this is about adding to your cup of energy because those hobbies and those passions is soul food for you part of being a woman of high value is maintenance of her energy source when she fills her cup up with joy and positive things that radiates to the people that she interacts with they feel that from her because what you want to happen is when he comes comes back which he inevitably will is that he will feel that energy from you he will feel that life that light that joy that you're carrying with you and this makes him go oh my gosh I really missed this about her I didn't realize what I was missing out on I definitely want to invest more into this hence coming back more present and harder no pun intended if you're looking for a guy who spies up your love life make sure you subscribe to this wonderful tribe and as always keep it slick